Hey Psych2Go family, thank you for all the love and support you've given us. Here at Psych2Go, our mission is to make content on psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's get back to the video. How do you think your friends would describe you? Are you always there for them when they need you? Sometimes it can be hard to maintain a good friendship with people. You may not even realize that you're hurting the people you love until it's too late. So, here are 7 warning signs that you may be becoming a toxic friend to others. Number 1. You're needy. Are you over-reliant on your friend, calling them at the first sight of trouble? Do you need them to reaffirm your self-esteem every time you feel down about yourself? While friends should be supportive of each other, there should also be some give and take in your relationship. You may be turning into a toxic friend if you keep on demanding and taking more of your friendship than you give. Number 2. You're controlling. Do you always want to know what your friends are up to? Or do you sometimes tell your friends what to do or who they spend their time with? A way you may be hurting your friends is by being too controlling of them. Remember that they are their own person and can make their own decisions. Even if what you do comes from a place of insecurity or fear that they will replace you with someone else, trying to control your friends may turn your friendship into a toxic one. Number 3. You're inconsiderate. Do you always make your friends give in to what you want, or get upset if you don't get your way? If you only care about your wants and needs and insist on doing things your way even at the expense of your friends, then you are being inconsiderate about their feelings. Healthy friendships are all about compromise and mutual agreement, so you may be turning into a toxic friend if you constantly ignore your friends to get your way. Number 4. You give unsolicited advice. Do you give your friends advice even if they never asked for it? A study by Mayers in 2017 shows that many who give unsolicited advice may do so because it gives them a sense of control and superiority amongst their peers. Doing so may also make you seem self-righteous and judgmental. Instead of advice, your friend may just want you to lend them an ear and show them some sympathy. Number 5. You act critical of them. Do you always point out your friend's insecurities or flaws to them? While you may say that it comes from a place of love, being overly harsh and critical can be doing more damage than good to your friendship. You may end up making them feel worse about their failures and hurt their self-esteem. Because of this, your friendship may take a turn for the worse. Number 6. You talk more about yourself than them. Are you usually the one who does most of the talking? Do you interrupt your friend and steer the topic back to you? Even if it's not your intention, this kind of behavior can show that you care more about yourself than you do about your friend. Healthy relationships involve taking turns to talk and listen. When you fail to strike a good balance in your friendship and you take more than you give, it may be a sign that your friendship is turning into a toxic one. Number 7. You're not happy for their success. Do you feel bitter or insecure when your friend accomplishes something? Although it's normal to feel jealous of others from time to time, it's never good to be so envious of your friends that you can't celebrate their success. Instead of rooting for them and cheering them on, you find yourself competing against them and secretly hoping that they'd fail. And that is a sign of a toxic friendship. Do you relate to any of the signs mentioned here? Are you worried you may be turning into a toxic friend? Let us know in the comments below. If you answered yes, don't worry, it's not too late yet. It's good that you're trying to be more self-aware about your own faults, and the fact that you are honest enough with yourself to admit that you're being a bad friend shows a willingness to grow and change for the better. Though this kind of positive change doesn't come easy, you've already taken a big first step in acknowledging your mistakes and trying to be a better person. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.